This example four is just the continuation of what we have been doing in our last class. Uh, here is a nice example where we will use Lagrange multiplier to solve this problem, okay? So the question is the standard beverage can has a volume of 21.66 inch cube. What dimension give the minimum surface area? And find the minimum surface area. Assume the uh, shape of the can is a right circular cylinder, okay? Now, here is the formula. We know that the volume of right circular cylinder is pi r square h. We know that from our high school geometry. And the surface area of this is, you see the top and bottom are circles. So pi r square and two pi r square gives you the uh, area of top and bottom. And the area of the curved surface is two pi r h. I trust that everybody is okay with this formula. And what is also given is that the volume of the can is 21.66 uh, inch cube or centimeter cube, whatever you, you write, the unit cube. Now, you see, in the previous, most of the situation, then um, we were given objective function, we were given constant. But in, in real life situation, the function doesn't come just like that. What we need to do is we, 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 have, we have a situation, we have a problem, then we change that problem into mathematical language. What I mean is we model the situation using our mathematics, using the power of mathematics, okay? So let us do that. Let us change the English language into mathematical language. First of all, what is our goal? Our goal is to what dimension gives the minimum surface area. So we want to, we want to minimize we want to minimize surface area. Right? So that is our objective function. That is our goal. So objective function will be surface area, let us represent that by S of uh, function S equals, the formula is two pi R H plus two pi R square. That is the formula. So S the function of R and H, that is our objective function. And what is the condition? What is the constraint? The constraint is that the volume of the box must, I mean, the volume of the can must be 21.66. So the condition or constraint is volume B equals 21.66, right? That is the constraint. We change the English language into mathematical language. Remember the volume always, uh, you know, the formula for the volume is we already know that means pi r square h equals 21.66, right? And we know that uh, the constant function must be, you know, right inside must be zero. So you can write pi r square h minus 21.66 equals zero. So we have a objective function and we have a constant function and we denote that by z. The function is again r, r and h because it is the function of r and h, that's it. Now, first, what we do is step one, we will create the Lagrangian um, function, okay? So we create Lagrangian function, which is given by capital F, R, H, and lambda. We introduce another uh, variable lambda and so equals, we know that this is S R H minus lambda Z R H. So our F, if I uh, work it out, that will be two pi R H plus two pi R square minus lambda times pi r square h minus 21.66, okay? So let me write this in a nice way. Our function, Lagrangian function is r h lambda. It's a function of r h lambda. 
which is given by 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r square plus lambda, I mean not plus, minus, minus lambda times pi r square h minus 21.66. Okay. Step two. I want you to find critical points. So find, to find critical point, we know that f r equal to zero. Okay, let me write point, find f sub r, f sub h, and f sub lambda. Let us find that. And then set We find the first order derivative and then we set them equal to zero to find the critical point. So let us find F sub R. Okay, F sub R will be two pi H minus 4 pi r minus 2 pi r h. Am I correct? So f sub r means we consider r as a variable and then h and lambda as a constant. So from the first one, I'll get 2 pi h. From here, 4 pi r. And from there, 2 pi r h lambda. Okay. Uh, I, I forgot to write the lambda here. Lambda. Okay. Now let us find f h, f sub h, which is 2 pi r minus lambda pi r square. And then let us find f sub lambda, that is the easiest one, which will be simply minus pi r square h minus 21.66. And we set them zero, right? So we set them this equal to zero. I can set that equal to zero right here, equal to zero for the critical number and equal to zero. So from this one, so all you need to do is you solve this three system, right? So we have two pi h minus four pi r minus two pi r h lambda equal to zero equation one, uh, two pi r minus lambda pi r square equal to zero. This is your equation two and pi r square h minus 21.66 equal to zero equation three. All you need to do is solve this three equation. And I, I trust that everybody know how to solve the equation from high school algebra. But again, let us try just for fun, okay? It's nothing about calculus now. It's all about, it's all about pre-calculus and high school algebra. I was checking how many of you are paying attention. And so you found this typo, this should be plus. Thank you guys. This is plus. Now solving equation one and two, for example, what do we get? To solve this, I was looking which, you know, which equation uh, will be easy to deal with first. So my common sense tells me that equation two is the easiest one to deal with. Uh, well, you can 
also start with three. You can also start with one. It doesn't matter. But, uh, you know, I, I, I started with equation two and this is what I got. Solving this, I got r equal to zero and r equals two over pi. r equal to zero is not possible because if r is zero, then there is no um, Beaver scan, right? So only possibility is r equals two over uh, lambda. So let us substitute this uh, in any one of these two equations. Uh, maybe we will uh, substitute, substituting, r equals two over lambda in equation one. So what do we get? So two pi h plus four pi r means two over lambda minus two pi r means uh, two over lambda times h times lambda equal to zero, okay? So this lambda and lambda can be canceled out. So what do we get? We get uh, two pi h plus four times two is eight pi over lambda minus this guy will be four pi h equal to zero, right? So this gives me 8 pi over lambda equals, you see they are like term. This one and this one are like terms. If we combine them, you're gonna get two pi h negative. And I'm gonna take that two pi f negative on the right hand side, you simply get two pi h. So you can cancel this pi and pi, no problem there. So what you got here is that uh, h equals, eight over lambda, I mean four over lambda. This is what you got, four over lambda, right? H equals four over lambda. Now let us substitute this two value there. So this value here and this value here, let us substitute that there because we already have value of R and H. So substituting values of R equals two over lambda and H equals, oh, can I write this out of this? Maybe what we, what we got here is that I think the life will be easy. We notice that, let's say this is equation four and this is equation five, let's say. So we have, h equals four over lambda and r equals two over lambda. This gives us therefore, so I can write that uh, r, I mean, h equals two r. Does that make sense to everyone? So we can write h equals two r. So substituting value of h, which is substituting h equals two r in equation three, we're gonna get pi r square, r is square and h means two r minus 21.66 equal to zero. So you're gonna get pi two pi r cube equals 21.66. So you're gonna get r cube equals 21.66 over two pi. And r equals cube root of 21.66 over two pi. I don't have calculator. I need your help guys. So approximately how much? You're gonna get decimal. I think two digit after decimal should be fine. Two or three digit. Let me know. So you guys got the value of R as 1.51 uh, and the unit is given inch. So I simply write inch here. Um, I don't know what is the spelling of inch. Anyway, inch. And now therefore H will be, H is two R. So that means two times R is 1.51. That's gonna give me, um, how much is that? 3.02 inch, am I right? Okay. So we calculated R and H already. So to 
maximize the surface to minimize the surface area. Uh, that's what the you know radius and height should be. So we got the step three. Hence, critical point R H equals. 1.51 and 3.02. That is our critical point, R and H. And do we need to find the maximum, I mean, the, the surface area? What do we want to find? Just give me one second. Find the surface area. Okay, we need to find the surface area as well. So you just substitute the value. And so minimum surface area will be S, uh, R and H, the formula that we have written is two pi R H plus two pi R squared. Now S R is 1.51 and 3.02 equals two pi R is 1.51 times uh, 3.02 plus two pi 1.51 square and then you have the calculator and let me know what is your answer okay my let me my calculator tells me let me see My calculator gives me 42.98, uh, but I want to verify this answer with you guys. Did you get the same thing? Anyway, um, okay. All right, so this is it. This is about um, Lagrange's multiplier. And this example four looks like it's interesting questions actually. A lot of calculation, but should not be difficult. Um, you already know how to find the derivative, parcel derivative, and you already know how to solve the system of equation. This solving system of equation for some of you is not fun, uh, but again, um, it's it should not be difficult, okay? It should be, you know, I, I hope that you'll be able to handle this kind of uh, equation, solving equation, system of equation. All right, so Lagrange multiplier is done.